What's up, guys? This is Veals. I'm Bucky Gamji. Uh, Shift Redeck that I've been playing uh, with the giant fan. This is our final product. This should look something like this, depending. Okay, guys. I don't know if you can tell, but we did get power back. Play cookies. As they actually get creative online. Lissandre! Lissander! I don't know if a large angry chicken. Fried chicken is delicious. Gain an extra level if you, if you defeat it with fire or flame. This is my Entei deck that I played at uh, uh, Cities last weekend. Um, I went 2 and 4. I would have done better if the fucking format wasn't best of 130 minutes. Because in two matches I, I lost turn two and or I lost turn two in one match and then turn three or four in the another because I only had one Pokemon and I would have gotten my Pyro out in both matches the next turn but nope couldn't do it because the stupid one match so I lost two matches that shouldn't have been a loss for me but this Manti deck it's pretty good you know for what it is it's I couldn't say if it's really good or it's really bad because the format was really bad. So, again, this is standard. So this is my Entei deck. We have four, four Entei's. This is the this is the break one that's got the ability allows you to have two tools attached to it at once. And then we've got the two. We got a two-two line of the Pyroar with the. Uh, Intimidating main, which really would have helped me in two matches, but nope. One more turn wasn't enough. And then to heal, we have the three jinxes because on the second attack for uh, the heat tackle, you flip a coin, you can end up doing 30 yourself, and this is another way to heal yourself to get that damage off. So that's the Pokemon. Moving on to the supporters here, we have. Three um, blacksmiths help to help power us up because the heat tackle is four, but that's mainly not the attack we're doing. We're doing the the first attack, which was um, which is flame screen, and it does thirty. It, um, your next your opponent's attack is reduced by thirty. And then we have the two uh, shanas for draw. We have a presser uh, birch's observation to help that draw. Um, the one Lysander to get those crucial knockouts. Sky one Skylar because we have a couple of cards that we're running one of, so it's good to get that one of card need or something like an Ultra Ball to get the Pokemon we need. And then the three Professor Sycamore for more draw power. Um, that is our um, supporter line for our trainers. This is a little more hefty because usually it is most decks. We have. Three Ultra Ball. Oh, four Ultra Ball, I mean, sorry about that. Standard, most decks you get Pokemon out, you know. I run, I only run three VS Seekers. A lot of people say four is it, and you have to have four in every deck. I think three is, is pretty good. Some decks, obviously, you're going to want to have four, depending on if you're playing like Team Flare Grunts and stuff like that. Um, to revive to help get back like an Entei or a Lily or something just in case like some one of them are prized and whatnot. Um, four hard charms or charms to help um, reduce it because if you use the uh, the flame screen it's reduced by thirty and then you use two more of these that's another four it's seventy so they have to do they would have to do eighty damage in order to hit you for ten damage plus you have the uh, the three jinxes to heal back that damage. So it's a lot harder to kill you. Um, one energy retrieval to get some of that energy back. Only two um, muscle bands because our main attack is doing only 30, but you really want to do it so they can't do as mu uh, any damage to you. Another thing is you can put them on the pyros to help them get more damage done to you. I mean, down to the, your opponent. Uh, two trainers mail to help just get through your deck, get the cards you need. Uh, one professor's letter to get that energy. Um, this is a this is a uh, card you might not need in your deck. Um, two battle compressor to help get energy in the discard pile for a blacksmith or trainer in the discard pile that you need to get to use with your VS seekers or whatnot. Um, two float stones 
I can stick them on a pyroar if I need to retreat or on a jinx or whatnot. Most likely will not be sticking that on a, an Entei in this deck. Um, I run one um, Sacred Ash to get Pokemon back into my deck. Uh, I run one uh, Echo Arm to get, again, the the Heart Charms back in my deck because that's like your most key um, tool that you're going to need. And you're most likely going to have two attached to one um, Entei, so if you can, um, bring it back because you might get knocked out. And then I run, like it might be a surprise to some people, I run two Faded Towns. Fortunately, that didn't really come into handy in any of the matches I played because no one was playing Mega Evolutions. But it's really good because obviously you're not playing any Mega Evolutions. So it will only be affecting your opponent if they have Mega Evolutions. So that's my trainer line. And now for the energy. My energy, I run one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I run eleven fire energies. Um, there probably is some some energies I can drop because again, you only for the main attack you're using, you only need two um, energies, so you can uh, possibly drop some of these or and add some more cards or whatnot. Maybe add an assault best or two because those are pretty good. Um, so yeah, that is my Entei deck that I played at a region, I mean at a cities last week. And I went two and four, would have done better if it wasn't, uh, one, it wasn't best of one 30 minutes. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you give this deck a try. Um, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, all the above. And don't forget... Definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll have more like this for you in the future.